Is this the end of the internet as we know it? Thousands rush to apply for their right to be forgotten by having details of their past erased from Google. Thousands of pedophiles have rushed to use a new form from Google giving them the right to be forgotten, which lets people apply to get themselves removed from search results. The change has come after a landmark ruling by the European Court of Justice that people have the right to be forgotten, so they can have Google search results removed if they tarnish their reputation. Over 12,000 people across Europe have used the form since Google launched the online form yesterday morning. If those requests are granted, anyone searching for those people on Google will not be shown the aspects of their past that they have deemed to be embarrassing or damaging, making internet searches fundamentally less useful. At one point Google said it was getting 20 requests per minute. But the ruling has already been criticized after early indications that around 12% of applications were related to pedophilia. A further 30% concerned fraud and 20% were about people's arrests or convictions along with requests from pedophiles. Many other applications have come from corrupt public figures and criminals desperate to hide their past. An actor who had an affair with a teenager, a celebrity's child who was convicted of criminal offices, and a man who tried to kill members of his family were among the first requests. The company has set up a team of employees to deal with requests and sift through applications from people desperate to have personal information removed from search results. The team will decide exactly which grievances should be honored under the European Court ruling and which should not. However, the company said it will not honor every application and will look at each case based on its merit. These include cases connected with recent criminal convictions, professional malpractice, and the conduct of government officials. However, if these types of cases cannot be resolved by Google, they may end up being looked at by Britain's privacy watchdog, the Information Commissioner's Office, or go to a higher court. It means that Google now finds itself in the prickly position of having to balance privacy concerns against the principles of free expression and the right to know. Critics say the EU ruling has already created a divide between how Google generates search results about some people in Europe and the rest of the world. For now at least, Google will only scrub personal information spanning 32 nations in Europe it means that Googling the same person in the United States and dozens of other countries could look much different than it does from Europe. And although the court ruling currently applies to 28 countries in the European Union, Google is extending the right to be forgotten to four other countries, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. More than 500 million people live in the area affected by Google's potential purge of personal information from its European search results. Google said it has established a seven-person advisory committee including Eric Schmidt, Jimmy Wales, who is Wikipedia's founder and José Luis Pinar, former director of Spain's Data Protection Authority, to look at the issues. However, in an interview with the Financial Times, Google's co-founder Larry Page warned that the new law will be used by other governments to do bad things. He said other people are going to pile on, probably for reasons most Europeans would find negative.